Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be turning our own like paperback book into a 3D model as you can see. So we're basically just going to take some pictures and slap it onto a model. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so to be off with, you're going to need a paperback book. You can have any you want. I have like the psychology of money as you can see here. It's a pretty good book if you're into like money and stuff. And basically, uh, you're going to need a book and next you're going to need a ruler. So basically, you're going to use the ruler to measure the like dimensions of the book. But before we do that, you got to see here in Blender that one unit right here from like here to here is like one meter. And you can see here on this cube, it's one meter, two meters. Basically, it's two meters wide, two meters tall, two meters like deep, I guess. So it's all two meters, which is not what we want for now. So basically, we're going to scale this by 0.5. So basically, we're scaling it by half. So now this thing is one meter. But over here on um, the scale, it says 0.5, which is not what we want. We want it to be one. So we can press control A and uh, apply the scale. So now this like default scale is all set to one. And it's actually act like the scale is also actually one, as you can see. So now what you're going to do is now just measure your book. Um, so you see um, my one, the width is like approximately like 13.6 like centimeters. So you can just adjust the scale right there. And uh, you see one like one centimeter compared to like one meter is 0 0.01. So 13.6 would be 0 0.136 as you can see. So something like that, and let me measure the height, and it would be um, 21.1. So you can just adjust it 0 0.21, wait, yeah, 211, there we go. So that's like the width and the height, and now you just have to measure the thickness. The thickness is like right here as you can see. So the thickness of mine is about like... 1.5 yeah about 1.5 centimeters so you can go 0 0.015 as you can see so now there's something like that that's pretty good and so now we can move on to the next part of like getting the images okay so for like taking the pictures of the images you just need like the front the like the side the back and like the pages right here so now you just need like your phone or something, some kind of camera and just take a photo of this like from the front, from the side, like kind of like in the front view, side view and back view of Blender. And uh, here's the example of something I got. Um, yeah, so now we can start like moving and cropping the images. So for the image part, uh, I'm not sure if anyone's going to have like access to Adobe Illustrator. So basically, I think you just need to find like a image like processing software or something like that where you could crop and like arrange your images like that you maybe know how to use and kind of get like something like this as you can see like the four images that I had, I just kind of cropped it and put it together like this. So yeah, um, once you're done, let's continue with the UV wrapping. Okay, so now you want to hop back into Blender and basically, we're gonna go to uh, Material Preview right here on the top right. Material Preview. And basically, you want to go to Material and uh, click on this yellow dot and uh, select Image Texture. Then you can press Open and just go to wherever you uh, saved your um, image like that and just load it in. Now, as you can see, uh, it's not working like it should be. Uh, nothing's like mapped onto this object the right way. So we're going to have to fix that. So what you can do is go to UV editing. And uh, as you can see, we can't see color here. So we can go to the top right here and scroll and then switch to material preview. So you can see color now. So basically, if you see like right here, I, I'm not sure if this like is like your first time using UV editing or not. But the point is, you can see this uh, 3D object and it's basically being 
like unwrapped onto this like image so basically this like imagine like a cardboard box for example and you cut the edges and kind of turn it into like a flat so on like put it on a flat surface this is kind of what's happening so basically right now this is like the unwrapped version of this so now when you adjust like a dot right here uh, you can see how like the area that is being mapped on here changes so with that you can now like try adjusting it so for example we select like just this top face like uh you know select just this face and as you can see uh, it only shows that certain um uh, face that we're selecting over here so uh in here everything pretty much works the same you can use like the middle mouse button to like move around uh, there's no shift thing because you don't really rotate so yeah you can just use the middle mouse button and there's like the vert vertex select and the edge select and the face select it's literally the same thing you just press one two three right here there's also this but i don't think that's really important and so what i'm going to use is just edge select i think it's the most efficient for this case and basically um you can press g to move r to rotate and s to scale like usual and basically i'm just gonna g and move it uh, on the y axis so uh this is also something i'm getting used to so since there's only like 2d it's only like two axes as you can see the up and down is actually on the y axis so it's kind of weird when I'm trying to like move it up and down because in my instincts it's the z-axis but it's actually the y-axis so it's a little confusing I think there's gonna like take a little time to get used to so basically in 2d if you want to move it up and down you want to constrain it on the y-axis like this and let's constrain it on this uh, like this and boom that's nice and for the edge as well, um, the edge, the side, something like that. Nice. But now you see in like this uh, area right here, it's kind of twisted a little bit, kind of weird. So what you can do is you can just press A to select all over here. Then you can rotate it to can I get it better you can also move like and like adjust the like location of it I guess to fit better okay so I think that's pretty good now and for this side as well uh, let's adjust the thingy <laughs> so it kind of fits the Thing right there and you might uh, well you might not actually actually uh, basically for the edge which is what I'm trying to explain for the edge it's pretty much the same thing you kind of just um, put it on the edge right here like that so you can do something like that just put it all on the edge you might have to worry about orientation but my one seems to be working fine so yeah uh, that's all so now once you're done you got something like that boom you got a book uh, so you can call it a day here and just uh, finish with this or you can actually make things uh, a little bit better for it because for example right now if you look at this book it's not extremely realistic because the edges are so sharp that it could probably cut your hand or something so yeah um for example you can add a bevel modifier for this guy add modifier where is it bevel modifier so uh now um one thing is the scales not applied earlier we made it like one meter as the standard so that we could adjust this but now uh this is the standard image like the standard scale my bad so uh, you can press Control a again and apply the scale so with that the um bevel will actually be uniform again so uh with that uh, let's adjust the amount to maybe like 0 0.001 <laughs> okay i think that's pretty nice and you can also increase the segments uh, let me just give it like three or something and let me act also like increase the amount uh, like decrease decrease my bad decrease the amount as well a little bit 
less something like that okay so you can see with that it looks way better like a thousand bucks <laughs> like there we go and uh, that's pretty good but I think there's a little bit more you can adjust is you see if you have a book right here let me just show you um, the part where you kind of open the like the cover and there's gonna be like an area that folds right here. I'm not sure if I could show it properly. But basically the part where it folds, it kind of has like a little indent where it kind of goes inwards, like, you know, like it should be, I guess. Um, it's not present here in our 3D model. So we could actually make that by going into edit mode. So uh, make sure you're in edit mode and you can loop cut the middle. So to loop cut, you press control R and you drag it all the way to where you are, you want your dent to be. Uh, luckily, my image uh, captured the dent, so I could kind of see it. So it's kind of around here from my one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bevel it. So Control B, and I'm going to increase it to like three segments. Well, yeah, something like this, as you can see. And then you can like increase this to some amount that you want, maybe something like this. And I'm gonna press two for edge select and hold alt to select this uh, loop right here, as you can see. And then I can just scale this on the Z axis. So S Z to make it dent inwards, as you can see right there. You can also shade auto smooth for it if you want to look better. Want it to look better, yeah. So as you can see, uh, Pretty much that's it for today's video. Now um, you might think that there's more like things we can make it to look more realistic, like the reflections, like you know, like on the real thing. There's gonna be parts where it's not reflecting that much, and there's gonna be parts where it like has a lot of reflection. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. But I'm trying to keep this uh, video a little bit more be beginner friendly. So maybe I'll make it in another part if you want. So uh, if you want to see that, uh, leave a comment down below, I guess. Okay, so that should be it for today's video. Um, well, if you guys like today's video, don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe, I guess. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.